computer hardware technology is moving at lightning speeds these days, providing users with endless upgrades and applications to improve their operating systems. We caught up with tech experts at top-rated consulting company New York Computer Help, which provides a multitude of on-site and drop-off computer services to learn about the latest and new hardware. Hardware is everything that uh, is touchable, everything that a computer contains, uh, internal parts, external parts, um, laptops, desktop monitors, um, every sort of peripheral that attaches to a computer, uh, be it wirelessly or through a cable, through a wire. Um, and it's important for them to keep up to speed with each other because as technology progresses and one component is upgraded again and again, it's important for everything else to uh, keep up with it just to operate on the same level. Although the field encompasses everything from touchscreens to internal motherboards, New York Computer Help technical consultant Paul Schenker says there are some overall trends in new hardware devices. With every new family, with every new model, something else is added. It's speed, it's um, versatility, it's uh, general reliability. There hasn't been a breakthrough. I mean, we're still working on the same technology. It's just getting better and better and smarter and quicker with each day. One of the most talked about new devices also comes in the form of an upgrade, the iPhone 4G. The new product is slated to be released this summer, but a rare sneak peek leak online shows that the 4G will offer the consumer more utility, including a dual camera that allows for Skype access via your phone, as well as a flash function for better photo quality. According to New York Computer Help IT expert Francisco Menceno, Apple's innovations have inspired other hardware companies like Dell and HP to follow suit, resulting in an enhanced experience for the end user. With the popularity of the iPad, the hardware companies like HP and, and Dell have been trying to catch up now to Apple by developing their own tablet PCs. A tablet PC is, is a computer that's basically just a screen. It's a touch screen, and everything works by touch. The thing about the, this, the competitors to Apple is they've been trying to outdo Apple by adding things that the iPad does not have. The HP, the upcoming HP Slate from HP has a front-facing camera so people can make video calls using Skype. And also, they have USB ports and media card readers where you can pop in your secure digital card from your camera and view your pictures in, in, on your tablet PC. Manchano also points to new upgrades for internal hardware components, like computer chips. One of the most exciting things out there are the newer Intel 6-core processors that came out last month. The, these processors allow you to perform more tasks at the same time than before. And applications that are written to take advantage of the multi-core will enjoy the benefits of it, such as Adobe Photoshop and Adobe Illustrator and Mathematica and statistical programs and, and, and games. And it seems this is where the future of new hardware lies. The future of processors nowadays is not the clock speed as it was in, in earlier days where a 2 gigahertz chip was better than a 1 gigahertz chip and a 3 gigahertz better than a 2 gigahertz chip. And nowadays the future is the more cores on the chip, the faster the chip is. Last month, the 6-core Intel chips were released. In the next few years, we expect to see 8, 10, 12-core chips that can run 8, 10, 12 instructions at the same time. So the next time one of your hardware devices goes into meltdown mode, you don't have to. Because in theory, this is one problem that time can really fix. For Up To Date, I'm Shruti Mather, reporting from New York City.